Heinrich Anton de Berry, the 26th of January 1831 to the 19th of January 1888, was a German surgeon, botanist, microbiologist, and mycologist, fungal systematics and physiology. He is considered a founding father of plant pathology, phytopathology, as well as the founder of modern mycology. His extensive and careful studies of the life history of fungi and contribution to the understanding of algae and higher plants were landmarks of biology. Biography Born in Frankfurt, Anton de Berry was one of ten children born to physician August Theodor de Berry and Emily Meyer de Berry. His father encouraged him to join the excursions of the active group of naturalists who collected specimens in the nearby countryside. De Berry's youthful interest in plants and in examination of fungi and algae were inspired by George Frazenius, a physician, who also taught botany at Senckenberg Institute. Frazenius was an expert on thalophytes. In 1848, de Berry graduated from a gymnasium at Frankfurt, and began to study medicine at Heidelberg, continued at Marburg. In 1850, he went to Berlin to continue pursuing his study of medicine, and also continued to explore and develop his interest in plant science. He received his degree in medicine at Berlin in 1853, but his dissertation title was De Plantarum Generation Sexually, a botanical subject. The same year, he published a book on the fungi that caused rusts and smuts in plants. Early Life after the graduation, de Berry practiced medicine in Frankfurt, but only for a very short period of time. He was drawn back to botany and became private dozent in botany at the University of Tübingen, where he worked as an assistant to Hugo von Moll (1805–1872) for a while. In 1855, he succeeded the position of the well-known botanist Carl Wilhelm von Nageli (1818–1891) at Freiburg, where he established the most advanced botanical laboratory at the time and directed many students. Marriage and academic work. De Berry married Antoni Einert in 1861. They raised four children. In 1867, de Berry moved to the University of Halle to succeed the position of Professor Diederich Franz Leonard von Schlechtendahl, who, with Hugo von Moll, co-founded the pioneer botanical journal Botanische Zeitung. De Berry became its co-editor and later sole editor. As an editor of and contributor to the journal, he exercised great influence upon the development of botany. After the Franco-Prussian War (1870–1871), de Berry was appointed professor of botany at the University of Strasbourg, founder of the Jardin Botanique de l'Université de Strasbourg, and also elected as the inaugural rector, president of the reorganized university. He conducted much research in the University Botanical Institute, attracted many students from Europe and America, and made a large contribution to the development of botany. Fungi and plant diseases De Berry was devoted to the study of the life history of fungi. At that time, various fungi were still considered to arise through spontaneous generation. He proved that pathogenic fungi were not the products of cell contents of the affected plants and did not arise from the secretion of the sick cells. In De Berry's time, potato late blight had caused sweeping crop devastation and economic loss. He studied the pathogen Phytophthora infestans, formerly Peronospora infestans, and elucidated its life cycle. The origin of plant diseases was not known at that time. Much as Miles Joseph Berkeley (1803–1889) had insisted in 1841 that the umaceae found in potato blight was the cause of the disease, De Berry declared that the rust and smut fungi were the causes of the pathological changes in diseased plants. He concluded that urdinales and ustilogenales were parasites. De Berry spent much time studying the morphology of fungi and noticed that certain forms that had been classified as separate species were actually successive stages of development of the same organism. De Berry studied the developmental history of myxomycetes slime molds, and thought it was necessary to reclassify the lower animals. He first coined the term mycetozoa to include lower animals and slime molds. 
In his work on Myxomycetes, 1858, he pointed out that at one stage of their life cycle, the plasmodial stage, they were little more than formless, modal masses of the substance that Félix Dujardin, 1801-1860, had called sarcode protoplasm. This is the fundamental basis of the protoplasmic theory of life. De Berry was the first to demonstrate sexuality in fungi. In 1858, he had observed conjugation in the alga spirogyra, and in 1861, he described sexual reproduction in the fungus Peronospora sp. He saw the necessity of observing the whole life cycle of pathogens and attempted to follow it in the living host plants. Peronosporeae De Berry published his first work on fungi in 1861, and then spent more than 15 years studying Peronosporeae, particularly Phytophthora infestans, formerly Peronospora infestans, and Cystopus albugo, parasites of potato. In his published work in 1863 entitled Recherches sur le développement de quelques champignons parasites. He reported having inoculated spores of pea infestans on healthy potato leaves and observed the penetration of the leaf and the subsequent growth of the mycelium that affected the tissue, the formation of conidia, and the appearance of the characteristic black spots of the potato blight. He also did similar experiments on potato stalks and tubers. He watched conidia in the soil and their infection of the tubers, observing that mycelium could survive the cold winter in the tubers. From all these studies, he concluded that organisms could not be generated spontaneously. Puccini agraminis He did a thorough investigation on Puccini agraminis, the pathogen of rust of wheat, rye and other grains. He noticed that P. graminis produced reddish summer spores called irradiospores and dark winter spores called teleotospores. He inoculated sporidia from the winter spores of the wheat rust on the leaves of the common barberry, Berberus vulgaris. The sporidia germinated and led to the formation of AECIA with yellow spores, the familiar symptoms of infection on the barberry. De Berry then inoculated Ecidiospores on moisture-retaining slides and then transferred them to the leaves of seedling of rye plants. In time, he observed the reddish summer spores appearing in the leaves. The sporidia from the winter spores germinated, but only on barberry. De Berry clearly demonstrated that P. graminis required different hosts during the different stages of its development, a phenomenon he called heteroecism, in contrast to autoecism, when development takes place only in one host. De Berry's discovery explained why the eradication of the barberry plants had long been practiced as a control for rust. Lichen De Berry also studied the formation of lichens which are the result of an association between a fungus and an alga. He traced the stages through which they grew and reproduced and the adaptations that enabled them to survive drought and winter. He coined the word symbiosis in 1879 in his monograph Die Erscheinung der Symbios, Strasbourg, 1879, as the living together of unlike organisms. He carefully studied the morphology of molds, yeasts, and fungi and basically established mycology as an independent science. Conclusions De Berry's concept and methods had a great impact on the growing field of bacteriology and botany. He published more than 100 research papers and influenced many students who later became distinguished botanists and microbiologists such as Sergei Winogradsky (1856–1953), William Gilson Farlow (1844–1919), and Pierre Marie Alexis Millardet (1838–1902). He was one of the most influential of the 19th-century bioscientists. De Berry died of a tumor of the jaw, having undergone extensive surgery, on January 19, 1888 in Strasbourg. See also List of mycologists W. M. Theodore de Berry, American sinologist, a great nephew. References King Tom Chung, Department of Microbiology and Molecular Cell Sciences, The University of Memphis, Memphis, TN Grohl, E. K., HRSG, Biographien der Entomologen der Welt, Datenbank. 
Version 4.15, Senckenberg Deutsches Entomologisches Institut, 2010, 1. Further reading Robinson, Gloria, 1970-80. De Berry, Heinrich, Anton. Dictionary of Scientific Biography, 3. New York, Charles Scribner's Sons. pp. 611-614. ISBN 978-0-684-10114-9. External links Works by or about Heinrich Anton de Berry at Internet Archive